Yeah, and we're, we're rolling, we're rolling. Okay, today um, I want to introduce you to a great friend of mine. His name is Pythagoras. Now, Pythagoras was born in um, a Greek island in the eastern Aegean Sea called Samos um, in 570 BC. He lived to the ripe old age of 75 and died in the Italian city of, it was called Croton back then, but I think it's pronounced Croton now or something like that. But it's also, we're not quite sure whether he died in a place called Megapontum, which um, is also in southern Italy. But either way, he lived to the ripe old age of 75. Um, I'd like to talk about Pythagoras for a very long time time today. However, we're going to have to focus on something that he did to contribute to your math studies. So over here, he came up with something called Pythagoras' theorem. Now, what Pythagoras found was if he squared the length of the shorter two sides of the triangle, added them together, and then took the square root, he, got, he found that he could find the, the length of this side x here called the hypotenuse. Now the hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle and you can always find out where the hypotenuse is by um, looking at the side opposite the right angle. Okay, so there's your right angle there in green, arrow going opposite it so the hypotenuse isn't touching the right angle. So if I wanted to find the length of this hypotenuse here and it's um, labelled x, what I would do is I'd square my two sides, so I'd square the two, I'd square the three, I'd add them together because I'm finding the longest side, and I'll put that, put that in red, that add sign, the reason being I'll show you in a minute. That would give me four plus nine, which is 13. Now to find out um, x itself, I would find out the square root of 13, which would give me an answer of 3.6 centimeters. So, x would be 3.6 centimetres. So I've done that by squaring that side, squaring that side, and adding them together. Um, and that gives us the hypotenuse once we square root it. Now, supposing we've got the reverse happening here. Supposing I've got the, the, um, the hypotenuse already, it's 25 centimetres. And I want to find a side, this side y. Now, if you notice, it's one of the shorter sides. So I do exactly the same thing except for one vital change. So, I've got my 25 squared, and I've got my 24 squared here, but this time, as I've already got the longest side, I'm gonna take away my 24 squared from the square of my longest side, my hypotenuse. So, that's what I'm gonna be using the take away method. I've got the take sign, the track sign, in red here, just to remind us to do it. That's 625, take away 500, and 76 give us an answer of 49. So to find out what y is, I take the square root of 49, which gives us exactly 7 centimetres. So, um, if I want to find the hypotenuse, if I add the two squares together and square root, if I've got the hypotenuse and I want to find the shorter side, I take away from the square of the longest side and I square root as well. Let's go over here to a more complex problem on the board over here. Okay, so here I've got to find this side x. Now, I can only find um, the third side of a triangle using this Pythagoras if I've got two sides already. Um, on this lower triangle here, I've only known what the find is. So I need to find out what that side is. So I've got to do this problem in a couple of stages. So what I'm going to do first of all, I'm going to find out this side here. I'm going to label it as y here in green. I'm going to find out what y is by using this 13 and the 19 because it forms a triangle at the top. So can you see that the 19 is my hypotenuse? So I'll write just write hype here. So I'm going to be using my take away method. So 19 squared and 13 squared. So I'm going to take away this, so I'm going to use my take away here, 19 take 13 squared, that's going to be 3, 6, 1, take away 1, 6, 9. I'll put that into the calculator because I'm going to have to square root it in a minute. So I've got 3, 6, 1, that's my 19 squared, take away 1, 6, 9, which is my 13 squared, that gives me 192. 
So to find y, we're going to find out the square root of 592. Uh, square root of 592 and the calculator root button 192 gives me 13.9 centimetres. So in other words, the y, and I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that in red to indicate that I have to find it. So the y is 13.9 centimetres. Now, I do have two sides of that lower triangle to let me find x. So, the 13.9 is now actually the hypotenuse of the new triangle, the lower triangle x. So I've got to use my taking away again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do 13.9 squared, and I've got my 5 squared there. So, it's a taking away again, because remember I've got my hypotenuse of this lower triangle, which is, um, which is the y take that away. So that's going to give me 192 take away 25. So we're going to work that out in the calculator. So 192 take away 25. That gives me 167. So to find out what x is, I've got the square root 167. Square root of 167, uh, square root button on the calculator, and that gives me 12.9 centimetres. So there you have it, introduction to Pythagoras, let's have a look, the great man himself, and also um, solving basic triangles and then combining the two triangles together to solve more complex problems. That is Pythagoras' theorem.